Okay, a few uh, do's and don'ts about color profiles. Um, this photo here, which is a uh, result of converting my RAW file to a TIFF file, it has a color profile called Adobe RGB. Uh, the reason for using this is that it's a larger color space and gives you more leeway when you're editing the photo in Photoshop. You, you can do more things with it before it breaks up. Um, but Adobe RGB is completely inappropriate for publishing on the web and also most print shops uh, unless they say they want Adobe RGB uh, they also want sRGB so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that so let me open this photo and uh, a useful tip here is that you see down here where it says where it shows you the document size I always change that when I install a new Photoshop to document profile. <clears throat> this way I can always see what color profile my photo has. So let's pretend I have did some editing on this photo and now I'm going to save it. So before I save it, um, well you can certainly save this as an Adobe RGB version, that might be a good thing to do. Um, but for um, web use, I uh, would go into edit, convert to profile and I would choose in this menu here as my destination space uh, sRGB Okay. and now it's going to take a few seconds but here it is, now this photo is in the sRGB profile so now I can go and do my usual file and save as and it's it's okay to publish it on the internet or send it to a, a print shop